true. Why the hell did we do this? <laughs> Isn't it fun? It's stupid. We get Isn't to drink fun? alcohol. <laughs> like, like, you know. to the happy hour that is a crushable one. My name is TK. I am a beer don't expert. Do it. Don't you do it. I am a beer expert when it comes to getting shit faced. That, that is a skill. Happy Friday. Uh, I'm Drew. Uh, I'm not a beer expert, but I do own a beer fridge. Ooh, a lot. How many beers in your fridge? A lot. So we better get drinking. All right. So we're going to get started with uh, original Wexford Irish Cream Ale. By the way, uh, very Celtic. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Not fucking brewed in Ireland. This shit is um, brewed in uh, UK, owned by a UK company. We're just going to drink it because it says Irish and has a widget in it. That sound you're hearing is the nitrogen widget that is going off. And, oh yeah. That's super The funny. nitrogen um, gives it a creamier taste uh, more than... Regular carbonation. It is still carbonated. Are all UK beers like full of cream? We'll have that creamy sensation. Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, we'll get this one out of the way first. This non Irish Irish cream. Don't come for us. Yeah, I definitely taste the creamy flavor sensation. Mm -hmm. Really smooth. And it's almost just like put an IPA with like fucking Baileys in it, which is kind of not a bad idea. That is interesting because I get zero hops. I get um, a little bit of um, maybe leather and malt uh, along with the creaminess that comes from the nitrogen. Um, I would say this is very different from an IPA. Well, yeah. You know, right. <laughs> well, it's like, look at me, don't know any better. As the alleged expert. It's drinkable. Don't be duped. Don't, um, be, don't not, be shammed. Don't, no, no, no. Not Ireland. Not owned by an Irish company. But, hey, what's the next drink? <laughs> All right, and now we're going to do O'Hare's uh, Stout. I uh, believe this is brewed in Kilkenny, Ireland. Kilkenny! They are actually an independent brewery. Been around since 1996. They created this in 1999. It has a really good overall score. So, Sancha, drink. O'Hare's. Ooh, this is nice. Wait, what's the percentage of this? Just 4.3. This is a... Oh. You can drink these all day. You can literally just, find, you know, you just find that in any place. You can just open it up and like... Mm, yeah, but, but, hold on. I get a lot of char. Oh, like, there uh, is a like lot of char. That burnt yeah, coffee that, flavor. Yeah, That's oh, I believe that. Is. But not the coffee, like the bitterness and the flavors of coffee, but just like that burntness that sometimes you get... Coffee that's set in the pot too long. All right, here's our. All right, here's the king. The main Irish. contender of this yeah. episode. King, king of Irish beers, Guinness Draft, <laughs> established in 1759. Oh yeah, you hear that noise? That's the little widget going off. This is what they look like. It's a little round ball in it. This is the thing that makes that noise and releases the nitrogen into the can, which allows you to have a nitrogen pour. Because otherwise, all the air would probably just separate the beer and be at the top of the can, and it wouldn't do this thing. And then all the bubbles, they call it cascading. It's so cool, and I'm. it almost looks like the liquid is falling. Uh, there's actually scientific papers about what's happening in the can and the bubbles of the thing. I just feel like you always got to pour Guinness in a glass. That's just me. Also, by the way, it says best enjoyed in a glass. You can't see it right back here. Like, who the fuck doesn't pour this and shit in the glass? Do people actually still drink this from the can? I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to try that one time. Really pissing people off. Cheers. Crack you. <sighs> you know what? Guinness was my first stout, believe it's, it or not. It's just smooth. It's easy. It's, it's so... It's just... It brings back a memory of me and my pa. Not really. I just enjoy Guinness. <laughs> yeah. It's so smooth. Easy to drink. And it's just a good beer. I mean... What else do you say about Guinness? They are actually owned by Diageo, uh, one of the largest uh, distributors of alcohol in the world. Man, you went for it. Ugh. Stouts and I are best friends. You, you got a Guinness mustache. <laughs> Harp and Smittix. Wait, an Irish accent. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I can do that one. Yes, you can. Uh, Definitely do this. 
How? How? Yeah. And, and Smith. There you go. Yeah. See, you I, did it. I feel like the heart was there. But all three of these are basically brewed at the same location and they're all owned by the same company. So whatever. Sponsor sip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Diageo, <laughs> the world's biggest liquor uh, distributor in the world, needs Crushable to get their fourth quarter numbers up. It's a possibility. I believe in the multiverse theory. The multiverse theory, quick side note, is the belief that anything and everything can happen in in multiple universes. So there could be a universe that I'm white and he's black and there's a universe that he's gay and I'm straight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drinking! <laughs> and a rat ran over the keyboard. <laughs> what the f- It's just a lager beer. Nice lager beer. This is an alcoholic lager beer. Yeah, really special on that locker. That's Chris, the problem. It's like there's no like bad flavors in it. This is the the Budweiser of Ireland or <laughs> the Budweiser of Ireland. Uh, yeah, I love that metaphor. What do you think about the harp? I was upstaring at our our bucket of shame. Whoa, I don't know. I don't know if we can bucket a harp. It's it's drinkable. Yeah. I, I you know but you, you know what, actually you know, you know, I, I feel like we have to both agree to bucket something right. Uh, next up, we have uh, Smithix. Smithix. Actually, the number one selling beer in Ireland. Oh. Beats right. out Guinness somehow. Really? Because people don't like their dark beer. Well, also know. people... And that's at least what it said on their website, but they could be full of shit. All right, so actually, here's a question. <laughs> Do you drink your Guinness not cold? So we've kind of talked about this before. I <laughs> do prefer high alcohol content, barrel-aged Imperial Stouts a little bit warmer than the majority of the rest of my beer, but... Everything else, give me one degree above freezing. <laughs> Cheer, cheers to that. Ooh. Ooh, I definitely can taste... Oh, I can definitely taste the flavor in that. It's not overbearing, but it's not like it's punk, there. Not as, as leathery as this. Maybe a little copper. Oh. The, a lot of people, red ale, you get that like copper penny mm -hmm. flavor. Um, mm, it does also look like it's a copper penny. <laughs> I wanted to feature a local beer that was either brewed or inspired by Irish beers. I drove to Pool Island, which is a brewery. They just posted on Instagram, hey, we have this new Irish-inspired Imperial Stout for uh, St. Patrick's <clears throat> Day, available Friday through Sunday. I show up, I try to get a crowler, and they told me, no, you can only drink it on site. So I left. And luckily, <laughs> I have an Aslan beer. Ugh. I know we just did Aslan. But you know what? They at least put their shit in cans so I can drink it on camera for you. So Wait, oh wait, you seriously? They didn't say you can bring it home? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I probably could have pushed the point more uh, with them, but... You should have said, like, hey, we're in... Well, new... we don't have the dump of all on my garage for Just the ones that I was going to... Well, I guess, yeah, we should probably use harp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm done oh, with the yeah. one. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Aslan. Mm. Oh, my God, it's green. Oh, what? what? See, that? <laughs> you can already tell this is an American beer. <laughs> oh, Irish Girl. Heritage Luck Charm. This is a double IPA brewed with mint and vanilla. I, that, that really smells like mint. Drew, why do, you, why do you do this to me? What? Put the green stuff in your body. If I die from this, at least this shit's recorded. That is minty AF! <laughs> Man, you talking about having like a mint ice cream? Think about having a mint ice cream in a liquid form, man. Toothpaste IPA! <laughs> Mint is tough in alcohol because mintiness kind of gives you already that alcohol burn feeling. Like... I don't burn with this one. No, it's not much burn. It's just... I don't know. I find the flavors off-putting. I'm, I'm I think not a fan. I actually I'm am. sorry. A, I actually am a fan. Mm -hmm. The weirdest is that. And you know what, chat? And you're sorry. You know what, gang? I don't know. Wait, first chat. of all, this is going to... What crush are we going to call... What are we going to call these people? Oh, uh, the people who watch us? Yeah. Well, they're our crush crew. Our crush crew. You all just right. call them crew. Just crew? All right, crew. I was like... All right, crew. Um, I'm gonna say this now. As weird as this shit sounds, I actually want to get another one because I hate mint. I will say this right now. I don't like mint flavored anything. But this 
right here, it changes me. It's making me appreciate the men. All right, TK, time to rack and stack. <sighs> Stop pressuring me. After close consider, after a very, um, After a close examination and an in-depth engineering analysis on each drink, I have stacked my stack. And I will start from the very bottom. Number one, I don't really much like a lot of drinks. I want something that has more flavor, but it's not a bucket because, again, it's still consumable by a lot of people. And I still make it as a pass. It's not terrible, but it's not... I'm not going to, like, rave over it. This... Oxford cream ale is not that really flavorful, you know. It's just not something that I would go out my way for, and it's definitely lacking something that I wish it had something more of. Going coming in with my, you know, my red ale, I prefer. I like red ales to begin with, and there's something about the flavors of the ale really brings it all together, and it makes it so pronounced and someone announced and it makes you want to keep drinking it and i definitely would recommend somebody who's like into the ales who want to experiment out of it want to go try this i definitely would recommend trying this uh -huh. i think that's my other accent um again solid it's good nothing wrong with it i'm a style lover for the day i die definitely recommend it to everybody who loves stout especially for my irish friends who want to get shit faced this st patrick's day Go grab yourself some O'Hare's and go party it up. Now, I know what y'all been thinking. TK, why the fuck would you put a stop? Why, why, why would you put this over this? A you? double IPA. And it's like, a, and it's a first. It's a first. I know. We should have, like, m milestones. Yeah. So, I know what you're thinking, and I will explain why I break this higher here. And it really came down to not just the mint, but the vanilla, because this also has vanilla in it, right? The yeah, vanilla. vanilla. So, here's the thing with me and vanilla. I'm a vanilla whore, okay? I love vanilla to the day I die. Vanilla abstract. That's why a lot of my drinks are like, I have I put Baileys on everything. But it was more like, the combination of both the mint and the vanilla almost balanced each other out. So that way it wasn't, the mint wasn't overpowerful, but the vanilla wasn't, but the vanilla overacted the mint and it didn't make it so that way it was just burns my fucking mouth. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing this. And as you can saw throughout the video, I was drinking more of this and like. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely yours. Like, it's definitely <laughs> like. You know, it's something that I never really thought myself drinking because this is a discovery for me. And I hate fucking men. You know I hate men. So, I like... I not know you hate men. Uh, <laughs> barely pay attention to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> pay attention to you. And last but not least, our good old Never Goes Wrong Guinness. Rank it number one because there's nothing, that, that, there's nothing that's better. Actually, I would argue that... Guinness, like, I think the only other beer that I've had so far in my life that would even come close to a Guinness, you know, a stout, maybe Goose Island, that one episode that we did with the oh, maple. Oh, Bourbon County. You know, the, the Bourbon County Maple. That might be the closest. Oh, no, beer. you mean the, the KBS. Sorry, KBS. Uh, Mackinac Maple well, Fudge. Yeah. Maple the, Mackinac Fudge? Yeah, no, it was Maple yeah. Mackinac Fudge. Okay, because oh. it is so damn good and so damn smooth. This is my rocket stack. All right. Your turn. I like to move them up one at a time, so uh, I'm sorry. But the mint, the vanilla, very off-putting in a double IPA shell. I would probably prefer it in a stout, but even still, I don't know. Those flavors are, it smells great. It smells great, but uh, I hate to put the, the local at the bottom, but that is what it is. So next is I reds. Man, that copper flavor. I don't like sucking on pennies. So, you know, is what it is. <laughs> um, next, we'll go with the harp. I mean, at this point, you gave me a six pack of heart, I'll get drunk. <laughs> it ain't going to waste. It ain't going anywhere. It's nothing special, but I mean, hey, you know, uh, hey, just like they say about Bud Light, this is having sex in a canoe, fucking close to water. All right, next, I'll put the O'Hare's. Uh, it has a lot of char. I, if you want, if you want that really, that grain, that, you know, that, that toast, 
that's that that cooked in the toaster just a little bit too long. It came out black, you know. You maybe scrape a little off before you put the butter on. Uh, O'Hare's definitely that's your man right there. And uh, then we'll put the non-Irish Wexford. <laughs> I like the leather finish to it. The malty leatherness actually tastes good to me. Uh, the nitro may or may not detract from it in this part, the creaminess of it, making it a cream ale. Uh, it's definitely drinkable, but it's definitely not Irish. And number one, they came. 1759, Guinness Draft. I mean, how can you beat it? It's, it's just, it, it's good. We, we pretty much drank two of them while we've been filming this, and I think that they I, just go down easy. They're good. I'm uh, sorry. I Guinness think, is good. I think our insert whatever the name you call for our first drink over is now hitting my system. Our little concoction is hitting oh, my system. Oh, yeah. Our, our, it's, yeah. our a boiler works. Boiler room. I, Irish boiler maker. Irish boiler maker is hitting my system. And he's making this uh, either. No, he's making this fun. Yeah. This is always fun. Hey, uh, remember, comment, like, subscribe. And as always. Chug. Oh, 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 oh. Save some for later. Fuck you. And as always, please drink responsible. And drink beer. Nah, fuck.